Hello my friends. Let me show you a couple flutes that I just made. These are made out of tiger maple. And uh, the grain just pops on these. They're very attractive wood. Okay, tiger maple is grown, or the maple itself, grown in Pennsylvania. Uh, quite an abundance of tiger maple up there. Okay, it's not a specific species, it's the maple, usually it's the sugar maple that uh, is more prone to have these markings on it. And a uh, number of names that this is given, tiger maple of course, curly maple, quilted maple, bird's eye maple, fiddleback maple, all the same wood. Uh, names came from types of uses. Fiddleback was, uh, maple was used a lot in the construction of fiddles. Here's a piece of wood that a good friend of mine, Wayne Wright, gifted to me, some tiger maple. And what we're going to do with this is make some flutes. This blank stock, I want all the uh, tiger stripes to line up. So I cut the blanks instead of cutting them into three quarter inch pieces. I cut them square and I'm marking this so that I can realign it. Now I'm going to split this down the center and then put it on my router table and carve out the flutes. Maple is a wood that does not like to take a stain very well and being this tiger maple the grain um, being wavy as it is has a mix of the sapwood and the heart, heartwood and one is softer and, than the other and uh, one will absorb the stain a little bit better than the other and because of that characteristic that will highlight the tagger striping on this. Now maple as it ages will slightly yellow 
and that's what I have is this yellowish stain. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.